Imagine this. What if we could turn back time to reverse aging? No more wrinkles, no more gray hair, perfect vision again. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, what if I told you that some of the world's brightest minds work on that? Scientists are trying to manipulate human cells to rejuvenate your body. Even billionaires are pouring billions into making it a reality before it's too late for them. Today, we're diving deep into the cutting-edge science of aging to answer the question, how close are we to cheating death? Let's look at an experiment. What happened to the vision of blind mice as a result of flipping genetic switches? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, where we explore the future of humanity. In this video, we are unpacking one of the biggest mysteries of life itself, aging. Is it inevitable? Is there a way to reverse it? Scientists think they might be onto something revolutionary. Is it real or science fiction? In this video you will see the astonishing results of the most recent lab experiments. You won't believe it. All the information presented in this video is based on the most recent medical studies and research. If you'd like to learn more, links to these studies are provided in the description box below. For centuries, aging has been seen as an unavoidable part of life. But recent breakthroughs suggest it's not just random wear and tear, it's a biological process with specific mechanisms. So, what exactly is aging? As the years pass, our bodies accumulate genetic damage in the form of DNA lesions. This damage can occur during DNA replication or even in non-dividing cells. With mitochondria being particularly vulnerable. This is known as mitochondrial dysfunction. The mitochondria are the energy factory inside every cell, making your cells efficient. Declining mitochondrial function leads to cellular and organ deterioration. Also, telomere shortening occurs, which is basically chromosomes wearing out over time. There's also cellular senescence, where old cells refuse to die and they begin causing trouble. But here's the twist. Dr. David Sinclair, who is a professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School and a leading researcher in this field, he argues that all these symptoms point to a deeper issue, something called epigenetic disruption. Think of it like this. Your DNA isn't just sitting there, it's wrapped up tight like a garden hose. When it's coiled properly, certain genes are turned off while others stay active. But as we age, this system gets disrupted. It's like the hose starts coming undone, and suddenly your body forgets how to function the way it used to. It's a declining of the body's physiological functions over time. This is the scientific definition of aging, but how may they reverse the aging process? To understand better, we should learn about a special type of cells, which is stem cells. Stem cells are unique cells. They are versatile and can turn into any type of cell the body needs. And then, as they develop, the stem cells become more specialized. Scientists might say they're differentiated cells, but really it's kind of like they're getting job titles, like a skin cell, or a brain cell, or a hair cell. Our stem cells are like our body's built-in rejuvenation system. 
they're constantly turning over, making new cells that our bodies need. Keeping our body going with new hair, new skin, fresh neurons. These stem cells are required for regenerating damaged cells and tissue in our bodies. In the adult human body, an estimated 300 million cells die every minute. Because our tissues and our cells die, they must be constantly replaced. This is why when you fall down and get a bruise, the body can quickly repair itself. As we age, the number of these stem cells decreases and their efficiency declines, so our body has a harder time repairing and replacing tissues and this leads to slower healing and more signs of aging all over. One of the regenerative medicine approaches is stem cell therapy. A process that utilizes stem cells to facilitate the repair of diseased, dysfunctional, or injured tissues. Additionally, there is stem cell transplantation, also known as bone marrow transplantation. This procedure involves replacing unhealthy blood-forming cells with healthy ones. Typically administered through an IV. The new cells then travel to the bone marrow where they begin producing new healthy cells. This idea of reprogramming is, could we take cells that are fully differentiated, like the skin cell or muscle cell or any other type of cells, and program them to go backwards to the stem cell that originally generated them, or even make them somehow biologically younger? The idea of reprogramming cells is to slow down aging to make those cells younger, to rejuvenate your cells. For now, this treatment is just lab work. It would eventually require FDA approval. And now for the mind-blowing part. Researchers like Dr. Sinclair have already started reversing aging in mice. In one experiment, they restored vision in blind mice by flipping genetic switches that aren't normally active after birth. Yes, you heard that right. They cured blindness. But wait, it gets better. They've also figured out how to artificially age mice by damaging their DNA, and then reverse the effects. These mice went from looking old, with gray fur and wrinkled skin, to looking younger again. This isn't just slowing aging, it's literally rewinding the clock. So what's keeping our cells healthy, or failing to do so as we age? Specialized proteins play a vital role. Think of them as tiny machines like Pac-Man or Bob the Builder, repairing DNA and maintaining cellular health. One group of enzymes called sirtuins helps package DNA and silence unnecessary genes. The problem is, as we age, these enzymes become less active leading to epigenetic disruption, and when that happens cells lose their identity. Nerve cells forget their nerve cells, liver cells forget their liver cells, it's chaos at the cellular level. Lifestyle interventions like exercise, dieting, and fasting 16 hours a day allow these enzymes to control our body and make us healthier. Now, before you get too excited, we're still years away from seeing this technology in humans. Dr. Sinclair predicts 10 to 15 years until we see real-world applications, but only if rigorous testing proves it's safe. And let's not forget, there are ethical questions too. What happens if only the rich can afford anti-aging treatments? Or if people live hundreds of years? Would society collapse under the strain? Will there be enough food, water, and resources in the future if we all live forever? Let us know in the comments what you think. The science of aging is evolving faster than ever before. While we may not have the fountain of youth just yet, researchers are closer than ever to cracking the code. So, whether you're excited, skeptical, or somewhere in between, one thing's for sure, the future of aging is going to change everything. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. You do not want to miss the next video about the most recent aging treatments. And let me know in the comments, would you want to live forever? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.